Okay guys, it's time to perform some subtraction on binary numbers. Now, it looks like we're gonna do this the exact same way that we've done the addition, but in this particular case, we're gonna do something a bit different. I'm gonna show you the wrong way first, and then we're gonna do it the correct way. But for example, if we just do it the way we did last time, one minus one is zero, zero minus zero is zero, one minus zero is one, one minus one is zero. Now that's actually the right answer, but this is not how computers actually perform subtraction. The way computers perform subtraction is through addition. So the way that works, let's say for example, I go seven minus three, we know the answer is four. Now this isn't the same numbers, I don't think. I'm just making it up. If we want to add these numbers together with the, to get the same answer, so for example, if I go seven plus three, how the heck do I get four? The way we do that is you just turn this into a negative number and you get the exact same answer, all right? And that's effectively what we do here. So I'm just gonna delete that, all right? And what we do is we first of all take this bottom number down here, okay? And then we perform what's called ones and twos complement on it. Now, if you don't know what ones and twos complement are, it's a way of storing negative numbers in binary. So I'd suggest go and learn that because I'm not gonna teach you it in this video, I'm just gonna do it. So to do ones complement, we take every one and turn it into a zero and take every zero and turn it into a one. We just flip them basically, flip the number is what I like to call it. And I put ones next to it. This is now our ones complement of this number. And to make it a twos complement, what we do is we add on one. Just like we did in the last video. So I'm gonna go one, 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 zero. And that's our twos complement. What we've actually done is we've just flipped this bottom number into a negative version of itself. All right? And to make, to actually original, to perform this original question, we're gonna bring down the top number here, then we're gonna add them together. Okay, so one plus one is zero, carry a one. One plus one is a zero, carry a one. One plus one plus one is a one, carry a one. One plus one is a zero, carry the one. Now you should, now you notice I put this a little bit further along. That's because we get rid of it. You should always end up with a carry if the top number is larger than the bottom number, and you should always just get rid of it, okay? Now let's do a quick check. So this is a one, that's a two, that's a four, and that's an eight. If we check this number, that's what's that, 12, 13, minus nine, and the answer should be four. One, two, four. All right, so that works out perfectly fine. So this minus this equals this binary number down here. Okay, let's go do something a little bit harder. Okay, now with this particular example, the first thing you might notice is that there are different lengths compared to the first question, okay? If you ever get that, you actually have to, first of all, make these binary strings the exact same length. And it's pretty easy to do. Like, so this is the shorter one, so all I'm gonna do, put a zero on the front. And that's really important because when we take this number down here and we perform our ones complement on him, okay, this zero becomes a one. And that would make a huge difference if we didn't have that one on the front. Let's flip all our ones and zeros to get our ones complement. Why did I put an extra bracket there? I don't know. One line there, and let's make him into a twos complement. One, one, zero, zero, one. There's our twos complement. Let's bring down the top number just like we did before. Let's go one, zero, one, one, zero. Add them together. Scroll down a little. One, and then a zero, carry the one. It's a zero, carry the one, which is a one, which is zero, carry the one, and delete him. There you go. So this minus this equals the bottom number there. Okay, one last question, hoping to make it a little bit harder. Okay, first of all, make them the same length. Do your ones and twos complement. I'm gonna keep it the same process as before. So one, zero, one, one, zero, one. There's our ones complement just here. Let's add on that one. Add them together. So zero, carry the one, which is a one, 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 zero, one. That column is so wonky. Add this number on. One, zero, one, 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 zero. Yes, this is the kind of question I was looking for. Whoop. I should put twos next to that because that's our twos complement. Okay, so add these numbers together, you get zero, which is, whoa, 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 whoa. One plus one is zero, carry the one. This one's a one, carry the one. This is a one, carry the one. That's a one, that's a zero. There's our carry, get rid of him. 
we've got our answer. I hope that works for subtraction, guys. I hope you learned something. In the next video, we're going to look at multiplication. See you then.